everybody can hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Great, great. Well, it didn't look like you guys were too much in the game uh, when the fourth quarter began, but, uh, you know, a furious uh, effort there at the end. I feel like y'all almost pulled it out. Uh, just your thoughts on the game and what did Coach, I know this would have been Coach's 600 win, uh, what did she say after the game? Um, she basically just told us, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, there's gonna get, there's gonna be games where we lose. Um, right now, we just gotta, you know, move on from that game. Focus on um, Saturday. You know, we play USF, one of the top teams in the conference. So we just have to prove ourselves Saturday. Okay. Why was it? Uh, why do you feel you guys fell behind so much? And what, what was so tough about their two-three zone defense? Um. Um, like my coach said, you know, there's sometimes we, we fought back, we got in the game, and then we just, you know, uh, we, we, we couldn't defend. We couldn't defend well as, like we were supposed to. Um, we were kind of stagnant on our side. We wasn't moving the ball as much as we practiced, as much as we wanted to. Um, you know, to get them out of their, their zone. So, uh, you know, it, it, it was a good, I felt like it was a good game, but it just didn't, it didn't go our way. Uh, Javiel, how important was it uh, defensively, you kind of creating steals to get back into the game early? And I think it, it seems like the defensive side was where, how you were going to get back into this game. Um, yeah, you know, you know, like they always say, if our, if our offense isn't working, you know, look for the defense to lead you to get some points. And that's what we tried to do. We tried to get steals. We tried to get our energy up. We tried to get transition points. That's what's like one of the main focuses. And, um, you know, it got us, it got us back in the game. Can you, can you take me through that final sequence uh, just from your perspective and how crazy it was where you almost had a three to win it? Yeah. Um, okay, so, you know, we were supposed to deny. Uh, we didn't have any timeouts. Neither did UCF. They didn't have any timeouts left. So our coach just told us deny. We can't deny. If the ball gets in, we have to foul it immediately. So uh, I guess my back was turned towards the inbounder. But when I turned around, I just saw the ball rolling free, and then I seen Dinah pick it up. And, you know, our first thought was to tell her, shoot it, and she shot it. And, you know, it didn't go our way, but it was a good shot. It was a great shot. Just for you, um, and just a broad question for you, but what, has the game kind of just kind of slowed down for you? Because normally for freshmen just getting into playing Division one basketball, uh, there are some adjustments. But it seems like you've been able to kind of adjust throughout the season, and, and tonight you're able to score 28. What, mm -hmm. what has it been for you just um, that adjustment? Um, I would say when we did play UCF, for, we played UCF, I want to say, like in December, the beginning of the season, there was some, you know, freshman mistakes that I did make. Um, since then, I've been working on, you know, what I needed to work on, my weaknesses. I've been in doing film with coach, you know, to see where I can improve on. And I've just been taking it like one game at a time and just trying to get better as the, the games go on. You, 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 you scored 28 points. I believe that's your career high, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I know you had a play, though, that you'd like to take back with about 41, 47 seconds left. You seemed like you were in your point guard mode and tried to pass the ball and they called traveling. Yeah. What happened on that play? Just take us back to uh, what you remember about that play. Um, I was trying to penetrate, draw the defense in, and then I was going to kick it out to one of my shooters. I tried to use my two steps, you know, my two steps, they call it travel. Didn't go my way, but right after that, uh, you know, I, I, tried to, I tried to get the ball back from 23, which yeah, we did get it back. Work. Just tried to make up for it. One more question for Jerk. points in the first half uh, where you pretty much was a team offense. Just what was going on that allowed you to be so successful in face of, uh, you know, the fact that the team was struggling? Um, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just found my shot. I didn't rush it. I, I, I try as best as I can to get my teammates in it, keep the energy up, not put our heads down. It did get difficult sometimes. We were down by 10 at some times. But, you know, I mean, it's basketball. It can go either way. You know, just keep fighting. All right, guys, we're going to get Coach in here. Hey, Daryl. Uh, Daryl. Like we're in the locker room and all, not getting the uh, 600 tonight, even though it's going to happen. I didn't even know what just, he said. Just, just share your feelings. Hey, Daryl, we're going we're gonna to get Coach in here real quick. Okay. Right. 